Hola patrones, welcome back to another video. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day on the day you're watching this. If you do celebrate Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving just passed. I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving, uh, those of you who celebrate it. Um, I didn't get really anything for Black Friday, but I got this little mic. This is new. Uh, hopefully it, uh, you know, makes for better audio and better quality videos overall. Um, I'm using like new uh, kind of <laughs> new music, new camera, uh, got a mic now, uh, trying to just up the quality on videos overall for you guys. Um, today, I wanted to kind of go through the differences between these two recently completed suits. Um, I took them outside today because I really wanted to show uh, really show the differences between the two and I think in natural light like we are outside right now um, They come across uh, better as opposed to shooting inside Sometimes when I'm shooting uh, with the tungsten lights, you can't really see uh, what I'm talking about and I've noticed that on my video So whenever it makes sense, I'm gonna bring stuff outside and just show you guys under natural light like today um, so immediately, I don't know if you guys can tell these two costumes uh, both Spider-Man, they are quite different. The red colors, blue colors on these, even though it's the same fabrics, they're different, different uh, shades. So these uh, shades right here on my left are more, um, they're a little bit darker, uh, more akin to Spider-Man 2. And the ones over here are a little bit brighter, more like Spider-Man 3. Uh, the webbing, of course, uh, I think that's one of the first things that's going to pop out uh, to you guys is way brighter, way more shiny and silver on this suit right here, as opposed to my suit over here on the left. Uh, the reason for that is that for uh, this suit right here, uh, I used, uh, and I'm going to put it on screen, I used the silver bullet um, resin from Smooth On and I brushed it right on the mold like I showed you guys in my previous video put it uh, right on the mold uh, before I poured in my urethane material now the urethane material also had a little bit of that silver bullet in it as well as black pigment all mixed in and poured on the molds which have been brushed with the silver bullet as well causing uh, a, a way shinier result uh, and in the end like what you can see here I think uh, I don't know if the camera will pick it up but it's like it's way brighter way shinier um, some people may like this um, better uh, it's kind of like you know with Spider-Man it's very similar to like Freddy Krueger uh, where there's like so many different makeups even though it's supposed to be the same Freddy Krueger throughout all the movies uh, some people remember him differently depending on what movie they favor the most so sometimes the makeup for them is shiny um, you know it, it, it looks like wet uh, a wet look to it and some movies Freddy's very matte so it's the same with Spider-Man like it depends on what you remember him from it depends if you prefer the shininess of the webbing or the more dull darker colors like here on my left um, the way the webbing was made on my left here is just mix in with the material so there's nothing brushed onto the molds uh, I just mix in to the urethane to the B part uh, the black pigment uh, ultra black and then a more gunmetal uh, gray um, resin that's mixed in with the material and poured onto the mold and wedge it in there um, you know with your little wedgie tool um, and that's the way that you achieve this more uh, dull color, uh, which is still, you know, it's still um, somewhat uh, metallic, you know, more graphite color, like in the film, they used uh, graphite powders, but this is more, uh, definitely more dulled down, more matte. And um, I honestly wouldn't be able to tell you right now what I prefer the most. Uh, in both suits look great, and if you were to look at pictures of them individually and not next to each other you might not be able to tell the huge difference between one and the other but I think personally I prefer more of the dull look uh, just because it's more like spider-man 2 which is you know 
my favorite out of the three film films and I think a lot of you will agree um, the other difference here is that this is a one piece so the neck the torso goes all the way up to the neck and up to the mask without the mask being detached the one here on my right is a detached mask option so you can see there the mask separates from the suit so that's more like your you know uh, exposed face Tobey Maguire hero shot type of suit and this would be more of like a stunt suit or more or more like the hero suit that the stunt people wear where he's doing all the acrobatics and everything and there's no need to separate the mask uh, the other difference that not might not be as obvious is even though both of these fabrics are the same material this fabric right here on the left was actually done with acid printing as opposed to dye sublimation what it means is that the colors really seep into the fabric and um, what that does is that when you go in and dye after the fact it doesn't fade as much uh, it doesn't really lose that brick detailing um, it's on there pretty good uh, whereas with dye sublimation like on my right here uh, it's better if you actually dye the fabric before you do the the dye sublimation which is you know a, a heat transfer of the design but if you were to do first on white fabric the dye sublimation and dye after you might lose some of the some of the brick pattern on both red and blue especially on the blue because the the dyes that I use are synthetic dyes and they're very 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 strong so they might even cause some of the detail to be lost and all of that I know because I've done all that like I've done you know those are the things that you learn as you go so that's something that you can avoid by dyeing first dyeing the fabric first and doing the dye sublimation afterwards so that's how I was able to get uh, deeper colors on this and brighter colors on that I try to go more for Spider-Man 2 on this guy more for Spider-Man 3 on this guy so you can see also the eyes actually it's mismatched because the eyes would be actually more heavier airbrushed on Spider-Man 2 than they would be on Spider-Man 3 so let's uh, go ahead and change one of these eyes this is unplanned but it's something that I noticed so this is actually the way that it's supposed to be and the way uh, these are going to uh, ship. But yeah, I mean, you might be able to tell on camera right away how the heavier airbrush and the darker colors are more reminiscent of Spider-Man 2. Um, and there it is, you guys. Um, other than that, both suits are uh, off the same design. Um, they're both, uh, you know, the Spidey Planet pattern and uh, the back spiders and front spiders are the same as so, uh, the only difference is the the way that they were done on the mold like this is mixed into the material like mixed into the pore and this is brushed onto the mold uh, the shoes also let me get down here are black soles on this guy as you can see just plain rubber black soles more like Spider-Man uh, 1 uh, or 2002 Spider-Man because uh, in Spider-Man 3 they're really supposed to be but this one's for display so you won't even really see the salts but on um, the Spider-Man 3 we do have the correct uh, pyramid pattern uh, sole really thin sole on the shoe and it, of course we got the angled uh, toe shoe uh, custom shoe on both of these suits so that's the main differences you guys um, just wanted to uh, show you before I ship these out well this one I'm, I'm actually taking uh, myself to install uh, for display but this one's shipping tomorrow so uh, I wanted to uh, make sure I got it on video before I shipped it out and I'm gonna post some pictures as well for you guys I think I've rambled enough for today's video and uh, I hope everybody's doing well and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.